The Senate has directed the Federal Road Maintenance Agency to, as a matter of urgency, intervene in the rehabilitation of Shuwa Jigalambu and Baladega Bridge, which was affected by flooding in Adamawa North. Sponsor of the bill, Senator Amos Johanna, representing Adamawa North in his lead debate, stated that the flooding has caused catastrophic destruction in five local government areas, leaving thousands of people stranded and in dire need, with hundreds of houses and farmlands destroyed. In their remarks, lawmakers urged flood response agencies to rise to the occasion and do the needful, while noting that pre preventive measures must also be taken to avert such disaster. Aware that the flooding situation has overwhelmed local capacities and left thousands of people in their need of urgent humanitarian assistance in Kritchinga, Shua, Gulag, Zuragu, and other areas of Michika local government, Mayobani Mubi North local government, Konkol in Maiha local government, including shelter, food, medical care, and clean water. Your Excellency, NEMA and the response agencies need to do more because practically there is no presence of NEMA in my constituency. And I believe the senator that brought this motion to uh, has made it clear. So what I will only add is more efforts should be put towards getting these people back into their houses and alleviating their su sufferings. We should begin to uh, be proactive in planning for the, uh, the next set of floods. And we should not continue to be reactive. And in fact, by the time the water drains from the northern part of the country, it will settle in the south. And together with the, uh, water, uh, the release of water from the Cameroon dams, we expect flooding in the entirety of the Niger Delta, uh, displacing people. So it's important that the country comes out with a Marshall Plan uh, to, uh, you know, to cater for this uh, uh, year, yearly uh, flooding. The Senate further directed the National Emergency Management Agency to reach out to the affected communities and provide relief materials while mandating its Committee on Legislative Compliance to ensure that NEMA and FEMA carry out the Senate resolutions. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.